Hey, welcome to my studio. My name is Ryan Freeman. Hope you're having a great week. Today, I'm going to show you how to install and save audio presets in Audacity. These audio presets are actually called macros in Audacity. So I'm going to be installing my podcast voice processing preset pack for Audacity, which is available on my website. It's ryanfreeman.com. So installing these presets or macros is actually pretty simple. It might seem a little daunting just because you haven't done it yet, but we'll have you up and running in no time. All right, let's do it. So when you download my podcast voice processing presets for Audacity, uh, it will be in a zipped folder. You just want to unzip that folder. You'll see this folder here, podcast voice processing for Audacity. Um, I do also have Audition, GarageBand, and Logic Pro uh, voice processing presets, and I do have podcast mastering. Um, unfortunately, not for Audacity, but I do have uh, mastering presets for Audition, GarageBand, and Logic Pro if you are interested. It is available on my website. All right, I digress. So in order to install, save, and apply presets in Audacity, uh, you're going to want to click that folder, Podcast Voice Processing Audacity. And within this folder uh, with my presets, you're going to get a text document, a uh, very detailed walkthrough instructions on going through Audacity um, and how to install these uh, macros or presets. You're also going to get an image here of a bit of an install folder guide for Max. And just something to point out with my presets in this text document, I do have install paths for Mac, Windows, and Linux. It also comes with a demo of a male and female voice with peak volumes at minus 12 dB. I'll get to that a bit later, but minus 12 dB is uh, the ideal uh, peak volume to be interacting with these presets uh, because if it's a little louder or a little softer or quieter, um, it'll be hitting the compressors and EQs and limiters um, kind of at different strengths. That's why I recommend recording your raw audio between minus 24 and minus 12 dB for these presets, but I've actually done something pretty special with these Audacity presets where you don't really even have to think about it. So now you'll want to go into the Ryan Freeman podcast voice folder, and this is where you're going to see these presets. They are text documents. Um, I don't even know what this all says, <laughs> uh, but these are the presets that we will now drop into the Audacity macros folder. So you'll want to open a new window. So I've already gone ahead to show you the folder path for the installation into the macros folder. Uh, but what you'll want to do is go to library. And in my favorites, I have it here. But if you can't find it, um, you want to go to go in the menu bar and hit option. And it will come up library if you can't find it here in your favorites. So you go to your library. Then you'll want to go to application support. Then you want to find audacity and then macros. Fairly simple. And what you want to do is not click and drag this full folder in because for whatever reason, Audacity will not be able to read the documents or these presets within that folder. What you have to do is highlight the individual files themselves and copy them into the macros folder. There, simple as that. Now you're ready to open Audacity and apply the presets. You'll want to open Audacity. I'm going to bring in my male voice demo that come with the presets. So now that I've brought that audio or recorded raw audio into Audacity, what you're going to want to do is select the track, go to Tools, and apply Macro. And here you go. You have the podcast voice processing presets. We have female voice and male voice presets. And we also have male voice for phone calls because I know a lot of podcasts like to conduct their interviews over the phone. So I've done some specific EQing for that, uh, for the male voice and the female voice. Then we have light, medium, and hard processing intensities. Uh, I recommend starting with the medium because that is kind of like my two taste uh, processing uh, amount. And if it's too hard for you, just go down to the light. Maybe that works better for you. And if medium isn't really enough, you want a bit more of a crunchy, compressed, more EQ'd kind of sound, you can go to the hard and that's what you will get. So I'm going to apply the male voice medium. Let's listen to it before. This is an audio demo for Ryan Freeman's podcast voice processing presets recorded on the Electro Voice RE20. 
the classic radio broadcast microphone. And supply that. This is an audio demo for Ryan Freeman's podcast voice processing presets, recorded on the Electro Voice RE20, the classic radio broadcast microphone. And before. This is an audio demo for Ryan Freeman's podcast voice processing presets, recorded on the Electro Voice RE20. So as you can hear, that preset does quite a bit and really makes this audio sound amazing. Okay, and that's how you save presets or macros in Audacity. Told you it's pretty easy. Wasn't that bad, was it? If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe. I have a lot of great content coming out in the next couple of weeks. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. I'll try my best to get back to everyone and answer as best as I can. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.